Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. Now, before I go down, I would actually like to make a save real quick, so let's go to save and qu save your quest. Um, I made a save before off screen, but let's go to our new file and actually just uh, overwrite, or yeah, put that in there. My game was saved. Alright, so that's what that looks like, but uh, regardless, so let's head down, and uh, let's head down to, uh, back to the village. I thought Mount Elf was inactive. Oh, my grandson. Will Garrett be safe in, yeah, in this eruption? Grandpa, we don't even know if he's up there. But sis, someone saw him and his friends climbing that elf. They were hanging around here while I was on guard duty. Game Dog and Garrett went to Mount, yeah, yeah, Mr. Creighton's house. Didn't they say they want to study alchemy? Yes, they did, but what does that have to do with the eruption? Uh-oh, it's Grandpa and the others. What should we do, Game Dog? Should we go back up? Um, anything to avoid, I don't know. <laughs> Garrett! I don't know what we were thinking there, like we were going to hide from that. Game Dog, you're safe. Come over here, both of you. Where have you been? What happened? Weren't Jenna and Creighton with you? Yeah. About that. They were taken away? By whom? This is all very complicated. We'll need you to tell us exactly what happened up on the mountain. Come into the sanctum, both of you. And our mother is going to come with us. And from here we're going to act out what happened, pretty much like Super Mario RPG style. I always like little sequences like this, I don't know why. So he's showing off the uh, the star that we got in there. Uh, Gareth's telling them something. You know, the game actually utilizes these um, these like word bubbles that appear now and then very well. Most games usually don't really don't really use them. Um, they usually use the characters themselves or like character portraits to portray emotions. But this game actually does it really well in the form of these um, of these word bubbles. That I, I don't know what's going on here. I guess maybe us freaking out or something because the volcano is going to erupt. And that's us uh, exiting the exiting the sanctum. We had no idea the true sanctum. And Jenna and Creighton, they are prisoners? Yes. They've been taken against their will, how awful. Do you think they can be saved? Yes, of course. Jenna's brother Felix will protect them, won't he? Oh, we even told him about Felix as well. What is it, Garrett's he Yeah, what is it, Great Healer? You have been very quiet. It's like you're a thousand miles away. The Hovering Stone, the one that appeared before Game Dog. What about it? I have seen it before in my dreams. In my mind's eye, it appears against uh, yeah, again just now and spoke to me. You saw it just now? It must be the wise one guardian the, the wise one, guardian of the elemental stars. It told me what happened to you in Soul Sanctum. So what does the Wise One say about the, the eruption? Will the volcano destroy Vale? It is impossible to stop the eruption now. Will Vale be... Vale will be safe. The Wise One will prevent the lava from reaching us. Another uh, another vision. Would you call that like a vision, a channeling? Hmm. What's the matter, Great Healer? The village will be destroyed, won't it? He just said it wouldn't. Something even more, yeah, even more dreadful that Vale than the Vale's destruction looms ahead. 
What could be worse than the destruction of Dale? A terrible, a terrible power. The element of star, star gems house incredible power, and Vale has been the has been guarding those gems. The elemental lighthouse will will loose that power upon the world. Once the power of the gems have been released, the whole world will. The wise one wants us to get the gems back, doesn't he? The world is ours to save or destroy. Our inaction may bring about its destruction. What a pity. We cannot hope for salvation. We must save ourselves. Then what can we do? Acquiring the Elemental Stars is their, is their fate alone. Are you suggesting that we place the fate of the world in the hands of Game Dog and Garrett? Garrett is only a child. You can't expect him to bear such a burden. The wise one has spoken. Each of you share response. Yeah, each of you shares responsibility for this. Now, each of you must make your own decision. I don't know what to do, Game Dog. You decide. Game Dog, will you accept responsibility for the fate of the land? Now, you're obviously supposed to say yes here, however, out of curiosity, I picked no once. And something interesting, very interesting, actually happens. I'm gonna do this just to show it off. I can't blame you. I couldn't do it if it, yeah, if I were in your shoes. Are you sure? Yes. I don't blame you. Oh, he says the exact same thing. Mother would never doubt your courage just because you declined. It's clear that the great healer really wants you to say yes. Was it right to refuse uh, when the world is, is in such jeopardy? Once you step outside the village, you cannot take back your decision. Think about that before you leave the sanctum, game dog. If you actually leave... And so the world began drifting towards its fate of destruction. And that counts as a game over. Uh, you can go back to the file select, or you can go back to the healer right away just to remake your decision. I find this very interesting. Not many games actually do things like this. Uh, so we'll go back to the great healer, and we will say yes this time. So there we go. You accept. Oh, game dog, you can't mean it. You you choose yeah you choose to leave your decision to game dog. Thus shall be no further discussion. Oh, wise one, these two have accepted our quest. Give us your next command. And thus he appears before us. You two are quite brave to take on this quest. I shall be watching you. Choose your destiny wisely, young ones. And he's off again, pre yeah, presumably to, uh, to help save Vale. Do anything he can do. That was the wise one. How does she know that? I guess you could assume. What? Did, yeah. What did the wise one say? Felix must unlock the power. Find the lighthouses. You'll have. You'll. You'll have the guard. Yeah, the guidance of the elemental star. Um, then what? What should- yeah, what should they do there? Surely they cannot be all the advice you can offer them, Great Healer. Seek the Elementals, the Jinn. They will prove useful. And we'll get into Jinn later. Isn't there- is, yeah, isn't there anything else? That is all. That's it? Isn't there anything else you can tell them? That is all, Mare. 
I leave it to you, Game Dog and Garrett. Hey, isn't it almost time for meditation? Yeah, to meditate? Oh, yes, meditation. Let's go. Well, yeah, what, what, well, what good are those guys? Sending children off to him with no help or direction. I agree, but... They didn't give us any other choice. Then when, yeah, then where should we go? Or when should they go? It doesn't sound like we can afford to wait. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow, yes. The sound you are hearing now, hearing now, is the, um, is the universal, uh, sound of healing. You'll hear that whenever you go to, um, uh, but you'll you'll hear that I'm confusing heal and here here for whatever reason, but you will hear that whenever you go to inns things like that. Why is everyone hanging around the town gate? Wait, didn't you hear? I must say, didn't you heal again? Oh my goodness, Game Dog and Garrett are leaving Dale on a journey. I wish I could go. I heard it's going to be really dangerous. Oh yeah, so everyone's down there to say goodbye. Puppy. <laughs> Hey, what's the matter? Weird, Game, Dog, Game Dog's mother isn't there to see him off. You're right, she's not there. That dog. Hey, should we go say goodbye too? Sure, let's go. So you're gonna come down and meet us. We're counting on you, Game Dog. Oh, and you too, Garrett. Don't drink the water if it smells funny. And take this with you as well. And we get an herb. Uh, we're gonna get plenty of these, and we don't even really need them that much. It's a, it's a nice gesture, though. I know not to drink st yeah, stagnant water, sis. Don't listen to him, Game Dog. He's a pig. He'll do anything that's not tied down. Hmm, Dora is very late. Oh, that's right. Auntie Dora asked me to give you this to you, Game Dog. And we get the catch beads. I guess we're all set to go, huh, Game Dog? Think again, Garrett. It must be very difficult for, Go for Dora. As Garrett's mother, I know how Dora must be feeling. But I still have Garrett's father while Dora has only Game Dog. She doesn't want to see you go, Game Dog. But she knows you have to, and it hurts, to, to see, it hurts her to see you leave. They can't keep standing around here like this, or they'll never leave. So one final farewell. Farewell. And there we go! Now we are finally at the overworld. Now something I would like to do real quick, um, let's see, let's go into items, and uh, Isaac got given the catch beads. I'm gonna equip this to him real quick, so he's gonna learn catch. Now catch is, um... If you, if you remember way way back to the beginning of the to the beginning of the game, uh, when Dora actually used um actually used an uh, used a synergy to get uh, Isaac's clothes off off like a off like a rack at the very top, um like his casual wear that kind of thing. This is that very magic. So now you can grab things off of uh, off of like tree branches and things like that. Uh, with that though, I think next time we'll uh, head down a little bit. We'll see what that weird thing in the bottom left is. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.